Hello friends, I welcome you on Baidu's Exam Prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. In this session, I am going to share all the congratulations from the team Baidu's Exam Prep to those candidates who have successfully qualified in the final result for Engineering Services 2022 examination. It has been an overwhelming response from various various courses across all the branches as we are getting news uh, time to time because very recently the result has been published still the students are connecting with us and we are trying to connect with our students so all my best wishes for their coming future their professional life from the team by those exam prep and all those candidates also which have qualified up to some level some guys may have cleared the uh, prelims examination. Some guys may have cleared the written part of the examination, may not finally qualify. For all those candidates, I want to say, do not lose your heart. Do not think that you have failed. It's always a learning. You try to understand that you are fighting for such a prestigious examination. And if you have achieved some level, then it's the right time to give a little more push in the right direction so that you also get your name in this final list of the examination, maybe next year. So friends, Engineering Services Examination 2022 final result has been published by Government of India Press Information Bureau. Today itself, the result uh, was published, that is 23rd of December 2022. And these are the number of vacancies in which the offer of joining has been made for different disciplines for example civil engineering total 110 seats were there and this is the bifurcation among the various categories so mechanical engineering 34 seats electrical engineering 21 seats electronics and telecommunication 48 seats so total the final offer has been made for 213 students Further, the appointments as per the UPSC uh, notification, appoint appointments shall be made strictly in accordance with the extant rule and the number of vacancies available. And the allotment of candidates to various services and posts shall be made according to the ranks obtained in terms of the merit and the preference of services that you must have filled in your detailed application form. Now, there are some number of vacancies reported by the government for group A and B services or posts to be filled as here under. So this was the actual vacancies which were uh, uh, notified in the gadget. For civil engineering, it was 127. Mechanical engineering, it was 39. Electrical engineering, 25. Electronics and telecommunication, two, uh, sorry, 55. And the total vacancies notified were 246. Now there are 14 uh, candidates who, whose candidate candidature is recommended with uh, provisional these are provisional recommended candidates there are some conditions formalities to be completed so these are the roll numbers so if you fall in this category don't lose your heart there may be uh, some basic requirements required from the UPSC end so you must be getting some uh, communication regarding that and just follow that procedure and I think you are also definitely going to make it to the final list the offer of appointment to the candidates whose result has been kept provisional will not be issued till the commission verifies the original document. I told you there are some information to be provided. Original documents awaited from such candidates and caters their provisional status. It means you have to submit some information, some certificates regarding that. The provisionality of these candidates will remain valid only for a period of three months. So within these three months, you should be very aware regarding this. You should not miss the date up to 22nd of March 2023 from the date of declaration of final result. Such provisional candidates will have to submit their original documents to the commission only. If any candidate fails to submit the requisite documents as required by the commission, Within the above prescribed period, his or her candidature will be cancelled and no further correspondence will be entertained in this regard. So, I would suggest you there are two ways. Either you can submit your uh, documents in person. If you are residing nearby, you can come to Delhi, you can go to the UPSC Dholpur house and submit your 
whatever awaited documents are there in person so that there is no lag in terms of uh, postal services or anything else or courier services so it is better you submit it uh, in person that will be a better option otherwise you can send it through various modes of communication also which UPSC accept obviously in accordance with rule 13 4 and 5 clause of the engineering services examination rules 2022 the commission is maintaining a consolidated reserve list of candidates for each discipline as here and there. this is also very important because some candidates fall into this category and uh, they also get the appointment but it is late it is late for civil engineering there are total 34 candidates who are kept in the reserve list it is a good number for mechanical engineering it is 10 for electrical engineering it is 8 and for electronics and telecommunication it is 14 so these candidates, uh, uh, not all the candidates are going to get the final appointment, but some of them are definitely going to get the final appointment. But it will take some time. Union Public Service Commission has a facilitation counter near the examination hall building in its campus. Candidates may obtain any information, clarification regarding their examination, recruitments on the working days between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. in person or over telephones. I already suggested you that whatever if you are a provisional candidate and you have to submit some certificate it is better you come to Delhi go to the Dolpur house UPSC Dolpur house UPSC Bhavan and in person submit your certificates on the facilitation counter so that there is no mismatch and there is no gaps further the mark sheet shall be made available on the website within 15 days from the date of declaration of result that is also a good thing so these are the roll numbers list for civil engineering for all the branches. This is also for civil engineering. This is for mechanical. This is for electrical. And this is for electronics and telecommunication. So friends, once again, many, many congratulations all the final selected candidates. Uh, and uh, more more important is that those candidates which are from Baiju's main courses somehow maybe they are uh, enrolled in some of the conventional batches maybe they are enrolled in vision courses a special uh, congratulations to all of you because you have achieved a good milestone but this is the time you motivate other students so in the comment section of this video if you are from any of the Baiju's exam prep course or any uh, anyhow you are related to the Baiju's exam prep you can mention your name and you can contact to our team so that you get you become a motivation for other candidates as well thank you so much thank you so much subscribe to Baiju's exam prep thank you